Hey guys, quick little tip. Before you start this installation, consider for a moment using this little beveled mounting bracket. This uh, basically allows your doorbell to be tilted towards the door. Because if I am standing right in front of it, it obviously sees me. But my door is about three feet away from it, and if I'm standing right in front of the door, I am outside of that view. So if you were to use this cool little mounting bracket and pop it on there, which I'm going to do right now, it will tilt your doorbell towards your visitor. Now, let's continue with the review and installation, shall we? But wait, I just lied to you. I want to actually quickly show you the perspective of my iPhone. So this is me simulating uh, someone, in this case me, pushing the doorbell and uh, saying hello. I'm right in front of the door. I simulate pushing the doorbell right there, at which point I hear the chime both in my house and also a notification on my phone. So this simulates pretty much as if someone's at my front door. Works very nicely. Love the little signal strength in the upper right, which is kind of neat. And uh, yeah, that's me, my little smiling face. So overall, pretty good quality, isn't it? Hello, ladies and jellyfish. It's me, Bo Shevasu. We are going to be going through the installation process for this ring knockoff. It actually says ring right there, but I peeled the sticker off and it said something else on the front. But we are going to go through and install it on our house. The first thing that I would highly recommend is use this here. Check this out. See this mounting plate? Notice that it's thin on one side and thicker on the other. That means that when you mount it on your house, it's tilted towards the door. I would highly recommend using this shim on there. Just make sure that uh, it kind of looks like this. So see the mounting plate is attached to that little beveled shim and then the two screws. And then the two screws are going to go right into your house. And then at that point, you're simply going to get your, your your ring or knockoff, whatever they're calling these these days, pop it in, snap it in. You're going to have a little screw on the bottom, uh, which is right, oh, maybe it fell down. Oh, there it is, it's that little guy right there. And uh, then once it's in position, it should automatically boot up. You'll hear a pleasant chime. That indicates that there is power to your doorbell. You open up the app. Now, this is not the most intuitive thing to set it up. I was actually having difficulty connecting this thing, and it showed me a QR code ultimately. And all I did was hold the QR code up to uh, my, my, uh, my, my doorbell, and then I pressed this and held it down a little bit, and it scanned the QR code using this camera. And then it automatically said, you're set up. So if you get to that step in the installation process where it gives you a QR code, you're gonna have to awkwardly hold your phone up to this and then you just kind of push this or hold it down. Just do a series of that and then ultimately a little message will come up and say, hey, you are connected. So that's it. I hope that this helps in determining whether or not this doorbell is right for you. I've put the, uh, just the, the link in the description below. If on the off chance you wanna look at other reviews out there to see if this is right for you. Personally, it's working for me on my own Wi-Fi network. Be sure that it, 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 your Wi-Fi is 2.4 gigahertz. If it's above that, like five, then it's not going to talk. So I would say that's probably the number one problem that people have is that their Wi-Fi, they think it's 2.4 gigahertz, but it's not, and it just won't talk with each other. So be sure that that's, that's your Wi-Fi. All right, so hopefully that helps. Link is in the description below. My name is Bo Shavasu. Catch you later.